Speaking of the Herald Sun, let's head there now to your paper, Caleb, and a very similar headline, Kinder Surprise. $9 billion on free early learning for children, 30 hours of pre-prep for four-year-olds in 2025. Kinder will be made free for all three and four-year-olds with a new supercharged pre-prep year created in a $9 billion overhaul of Victoria's early learning system. The revamp will save parents up to $2,500 per child and boost the workforce participation. At least, I guess, it's just a, that is just a, another great story come out of Victoria but there's another really interesting story on the front of the Herald Sun tomorrow which is basically a story a paper all about kids a majority of parents still are smacking their children six in ten young Aussies have been smacked repeatedly by their parents and are almost twice as likely to develop anxiety and depression as uh, as other teens and adults new research has shown speaking on the shock findings of a national study of 8,500 kids Australia's Catholic University's professor Daryl Higgins said the connection between corporal punishment punishment and current and lifelong experience of ill mental health was real. Lisa, I don't know about you, but I I repeatedly copped uh, either an open an open slap or uh, maybe the strap sometimes when I didn't eat all of my dinner at the uh, at the dinner table. I still hate peas to this day, <laughs> but surely a, a little a, like smacking. I didn't realise it was that disallowed anymore. Yeah, well, see, mine was cauliflower and carrots, and I still can't eat those today, but that's another story. <laughs> Look, I just don't... I think there has to be some some sort of common-sense approach to this. No-one condones child abuse. That, that that's You don't of have course. to say that. But I think parents... Yeah. If children are putting their fingers up to a hot stove, you are going to smack them. And, I, look, I, I know I have done that. Uh, so, look, it, it, the figures are a, a bit of a surprise, I guess, but I don't think... Most people would expect that mums and dads are going to, or parents, you know, birthing parents are going to, at some point, discipline their kids. And sometimes that does end up in, in a smack. Like I said, child abuse is a very, very different story. Um, you know, a, a smack to keep yeah. them away from trouble. Uh, you know, I think, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, can, I don't see that there's anything wrong with that. Absolutely. Caitlin, what's your take? You're uh, at the other end of the, of the spectrum in terms of uh, growing up. Did you cop a, a, a little, t little, bit, little... I, I remember also my, my nonna also gave me the, the wooden spoon as well sometimes when I was a little bit naughty. What about you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was smacked as a kid and I copped the, the wooden spoon <laughs> from time to time. I mean, some of your viewers might not believe it, but I, I did have a tendency to be naughty from time to time. You'd think I was an <laughs> angel, but, you know, like, yes. like all kids, I misbehaved <laughs> once or twice in my life. Um, but but I, I, I have to say, though, that I'm, I'm not a great fan of corporal punishment. I think there are other ways to mm -hmm. punish children, and I understand the frustration that parents sometimes feel that, that would lead them to smack a child. But, you know, I mean, I'm only 22 years of age, and um, uh, I hope I'm not a father any time soon. I hope I don't have any offspring running around at the moment <laughs> I don't know about. But, but I would like to think <laughs> that as a father, um, I, I, I would not lean towards corporal punishment. I think there are probably plenty of other ways to um, to discipline a child that don't involve hitting them. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think it's a very interesting, uh, interesting discussion that I think I'm sure is going to fire up talk back tomorrow.